Here we want to perform the indicated operation of multiplication and then simplify our answer. Before we do that, though, we'd like to cancel like factors. We have a lot of x squareds here, but those are terms, not factors. So in order to see if we can actually cancel, we need to factor anything that will to see if we have a common factor. Here we have an x for the first terms, then we want a 12. The second sign says they'll be the same, so both signs will be negative. And the 3 and the 4 will give us the negative 7x for our middle term. In the denominator, we have a greatest common factor of x, and if we divide that out, we're left with an x minus 4. This numerator already has two factors, x and x, so we can leave it. And then finally, the second denominator is the difference of squares, so we have the sum and the difference of their square roots, which would be x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now we can cancel any common factors as long as one is in the numerator, such as the x minus 3, and one is in the denominator. We also have a common factor of x minus 4 and x minus 4. And then finally, a common factor of x. This is two x's. x times x is x squared. So we're canceling one of those out, which still leaves an x to the first power. So what we have left, if we look on top, is a 1, a 1, and then an x. So that's going to be an x in our numerator. And here we have a 1, a 1, and an x plus 3 another one. And so the remaining factors are an x in the numerator and an x plus 3 in the denominator. So that would be the simplified form of our answer.